having a little vacation, or as we like to call it, an experience. And oops, here you wanna eat? So we've been up here on the island for four days. We've had really lovely weather. Where's it's been Yumi? super hot. We're rationing out the diapers because <laughs> we might not have brought enough. There's no stores up here, there's no electricity, so we have to bring everything that we need. And we brought a lot of stuff. Except for maybe enough diapers. So that'll yes. be interesting. We're trying to ration them out. Yay. Actually had a really, 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 really good sleep last night. I went to bed early, like at like 9.45. And I slept all the way through till five. Fed both babies at five. And they slept till like 7.45. So that's like a good sleep, isn't it? Being up here is like la dolce far niente. It's like you really want to just get into the sweetness of doing nothing at all. And yeah, we're going to eat some really good food today. So stick around. Some pancakes, you make this pre mix of it at home, and then all you have to do is just add the liquid in. It's super easy. Oh, mama! Here's my parents. They're staying at a cabin just over beside us. Hi. Hello. Grand Rising. Keep standing at the pancake way. Okay, we're venturing out for a walk. Just taking a little rest on the road here. I was just collecting some, some pine cones, roomies into the sticks. Oh my gosh, so I took a shower, washed my hair, feels so good. Yeah, just having a cup of coffee. I almost never drink coffee. I actually drink decaf. When I'm up here, I just want to drink coffee. <laughs> Something about just being like cozy and inside the cabin. Can you lie down, Yumi? I've been coming up here my whole life, and my dad's been coming up here his whole life. So it's really special to be able to now bring our kids up here so that they can experience the cabin life as well and just. Yeah, it's, it's pretty special to be able to, to do this. So yeah, no matter how, how hard it is to come up here with all of the stuff and all the work and being out of our, you know, the comforts of home and everything, it still just always feels so worth it to share this experience with them and to have it be a part of their lives. Okay, so I just brought a bag and I'm gonna go collect some kindling around and I'm gonna go meet with my mom and apparently she's found a bunch of berries so I'm gonna pick some berries too. Okay, meal number two here. Some vegan burgers. The Bebas are having some salmon berries. Vegan ones, honest butcher. Some little burger action, vegan burger here. That's a mama lunch, yum. Mm. Mm. 
Really good. I like having these kind of like super hearty sandwiches while I'm breastfeeding. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Babies just went down for their second nap of the day. So Matisse and I are gonna cuddle up in front of the fire, maybe have a drink and make some s'mores. <laughs> just like have some just chill time together and hang out before we head to dinner at my parents' house. Basically, when we're here, our entire days revolve around what we're gonna eat next. Good. <laughs> it's hard with the double prong. It is. That looks pretty freaking good. started raining. Oh my god. I'm like having a moment right now. <laughs> I need my wine. Time to get ready for dinner. We're going for dinner. Oh, you're tired already. <laughs> Cheese. What did you say? Abundance of grass. Look at this abundance of grass. Abundance is everywhere in Mother Nature. Hi again, Dad. Good. What are we having for dinner, Matisse? It's a simple soup. Okay, so it's nine o'clock and all of the babies are finally asleep. <sighs> and I'm ready for bed now too, except I just have to beat Matisse at crib first, so. I love you. <laughs> I love you, babe. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and yeah. ciao for now. Mwah.